What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Gyro with Relish, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we were making our way toward Hatano Village, and in today's episode, you might notice that we're back at the Great Fairy Fountain, and there is a reason for this. Um, I did some stuff off screen, and I'll go into more detail about what all I did uh, later in this video. Um, but... Uh, one of the things I ended up doing was I got some more rupees, so now we have uh, 100, well, 129 rupees, but we have enough to, uh, give, uh, I, well, 100 rupees to the Great Fairy. So let's go ahead and do that, because, uh, something I actually didn't know before was that this is actually important for something later, um, like, outside of what it normally, like, what this is normally used for, um... But I'll get into that a little bit more uh, later this episode as well. Um, but yeah, here we are. Great fairy. There she is in all of her glory. I guess you could phrase it that way. Um, yeah, she is a ginormous woman. Uh, but I guess she feels better now? I don't know. Oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. I don't know why I said intoxicating like that. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Um and there goes my dog barking. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing, it's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Can I actually enhance anything? That would actually be kinda something good to know. So something else that I I think I previously mentioned is that this is pretty much what uh i guess she can enhance oh yes okay those can't be enhanced but these can with uh so we can enhance it with bokoblin horns or we can oh that can't be enhanced but this can uh but we well this is something else i ended up getting off screen uh but i'll again explain that more later um so I guess we could probably go ahead and enhance Hylian Trousers. I don't see why not. Um, I actually thought that this would actually cost rupees, but I guess it's just material. So that works out pretty nicely, uh, all things considered. Um, so improve Hylian Trousers. Trousers I don't think that's, uh, oh, that's just the... A Great Fear has increased their defense by one level. Cool, okay. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty nice. How set of clothing can have all been enhanced twice. Could, wait, huh? Um. Oh, I guess she's saying, like, if you wear a full set of clothing from, like, one specific thing, you get, like, an added bonus. Uh, I guess that's how that works. But that's pretty much gonna be it for now with the Great Fairy. Off screen, like, when... Like, when the need arises, uh, I'll just go off screen to, um, take care of, uh, any, like, you know, clothing upgrades that we can do. Um, such as, like, I know, at least from what I saw, uh, we can't, well, we can almost, but we can't quite yet upgrade, um, uh, the headpiece that I'm wearing right now. Uh, but with pretty much all that out of the way, I'm gonna actually head back to hot or well not to hot to no village, but back where we were in the previous episode pre previous episode. Uh, so I will see you guys there. Uh, really quick before I actually uh get to the um where we were, I think we're about to actually witness. Uh, the blood moon, if that glowing red orb in the sky isn't any indication. Actually, which way? Uh, well, I guess I'm actually trying to head this way. Um, so I'm hoping, if I'm not mistaken, that we, we should, should, is the key word here, be witnessing the blood moon in just about any minute now. Um, because I, for one, have never, I've never actually seen... Like, the Blood Moon hat, I think, like, like this in the sky before, uh, before the Blood Moon actually happens. Like, if 
you know, assuming that 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 is what I'm thinking of. Also, speaking of uh, Blood Moon and enemies, uh, let's go ahead and take out these guys. Um, and that should, yep, that'll take care of the both of those. Um, although usually, I feel like by now, uh, things would kind of start, oh wait, no, okay, it's doing the thing. It's, it's happening, folks. Blood Moon, here we go. Any second now, I think a cutscene's gonna activate. Um, and you can tell when the Blood, blood Moon's gonna happen because you can, like, it's gonna turn all red like it is now. And uh, you have all these like, oh, uh, and then you ask, okay, that's actually kind of scary. Holy cow, that is terrifying. I never actually looked up at the sky during the blood moon, but that is creepy. Like creepy as all get out. Um, like I was, I was genuinely a, like a little bit scared there. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much all the blood moon is. Is just their fancy schmancy way to tell you that like, hey, everything you just killed. Uh, they're back now, so now you have to kill them all over again, if you so choose. But it's also just kind of their way of, like, you know, if you need, you know, monster parts, then, like, you know, the game will eventually respawn everything. Uh, so you can get said monster parts, like the key's eyeballs and wings we just picked up. Uh, but with all that aside, I am heading in the totally wrong direction. With all that aside, now I will see you guys back over where we were last episode. Alright guys, we are back where we were last time. Uh, so, pretty much like I said, um, what I'm going to be talking about this, actually before I even do that, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, so, comment question of the video. Uh, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food, uh, as you guys, or as, at least some of you may know, um, is macaroni and cheese. Uh, it's really delicious. I love it. Um, I could probably never stop eating, like... Like, if I had the ability to eat mac and cheese all day, every day, I would. I know I'd probably get sick after a while. Um, I'd probably have to stop, but... Uh, if I could, I would. Uh, hands down, no questions asked. Macaroni and cheese is the best. Um, but let me know in the comments below what your favorite food is. Um, so some things that I did off screen, uh, so I went back through some of the different areas or the previous areas that we've kind of like filled in the maps for, uh, or the map for, uh, I completed most of the shrines. There was one shrine that I could not complete and that is because... Uh, there are actually three side quests that I have to complete first, and ironically enough, actually, uh, ha ugh. activating, excuse me, activating the Great Fairy Fountain is a part of one of those side quests. We, we technically, uh, I don't know what's going on with my throat today. Um, activating, or not activating, uh, well, starting that one of the three side quests, um, we can't do that yet, but uh, we can, or like, oh, what am I trying to say? Uh, we can't start the side quest yet, but activating the Great Fairy Fountain is a part of that side quest, uh, which is, I guess, all well and good. Also, what is happening here? I guess, is he just trying to... Okay. Is he- was he just trying to, like, scare him off or something? Also, I should probably back up because he's gonna swing. And there goes my iron sledgehammer. So I need to equip something else. Um, so some other things that happened off screen. Um. Is, uh, as a result of completing those shrines. I, uh. I, I got some more of the, uh, what is it, um, the spirit orbs, and, uh, as you can see in the top left corner, I have, uh, a total of five hearts, um, but I was also able to increase my stamina, as you can see, uh, by just a little bit, and I'm gonna bring this up now just because I think it'll be, 
important to just kind of go ahead and like let you guys know of how I'm going to be handling uh, health and stamina upgrades. Um, I know from what I've seen about this game, uh, hearts are going to be like the most important thing because there are going to be a lot of different enemies out there that's going to deal a lot of damage. Um, for example, that moblin way over there. Uh, although I think that type of moblin is probably not the worst, like the least, he's like the least of our problems in, uh, later on. But, um, uh, so hearts are going to be really important, but I also feel like just for the sake of being able to climb stuff and do other actions, uh, such as running, um, increasing stamina is also going to be really important as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase... So, for every five hearts that we get, I'm going to increase stamina by one. So, like, right... So, like, when I got the five hearts, I increased stamina. And then w once we get to ten hearts, I'll increase stamina again as, like, the next upgrade after that. And so on and so forth. Um... I guess the only other thing, as you guys may have noticed during uh, earlier this video, is I am no longer carrying the mop, and that is because I uh, have to, um, or not have to, but when I was going around completing uh, the different shrines, I ended up picking up like a lot of uh, good weapons. Such as this uh, serpentine spear that we're currently holding, um, and it was a it was really tough for me to actually let the mop go, but I know or knew that uh, it had to be done. Also, where am I right now? I am way over there, and we still have quite a bit of a ways to go. Um, so, oh, it's are you the guy with the donkey again? Get away from me! You bugged out last episode. And you know it. Also, there is a shrine apparently nearby. I don't see it anywhere. But, okay. Um, I see a bunch of moblins trying to kill a pig. That's cool. Uh, I guess they gotta eat too. Um, but I guess we'll just try to go up this way for now. Because I think this is where... I mean, like, the sign said Hot to Know Village was this way. Or so I think. Um... I mean, maybe this is... I mean, I, I would assume... I would assume this is Hot to Know Village. I don't know. Okay, yes it is. Uh, this guy seems very suspicious of me. Hello there! Who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man. I'm but a traveler. Um, also, actually, speaking of traveling, I completely forgot to mention that some of the things I picked up other than weapons, uh, and you can see it on my head right now, is that we got the... Uh, climber's bandana, which allows us to climb up things, uh, faster. Like, climb up walls and stuff faster, which is really cool. Um, and I feel like combining that with the increased stamina, I think we're, uh, we're gonna be doing pretty well. What, what is this kid doing? Uh, okay. He's just, alright, whatever. Um, but I guess since we're now here in Hatano Village, also there's a shrine over there. Um, like, just plain as day, just right there, sitting out in the open. Shrine. Also, what is with these houses? They are literally blocks. Like, what? Like, they don't look like anything... Like, they don't look like those buildings, but they're just, you know, here, just block houses. Uh, I think one of them might actually be a store. So that's interesting. Um, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I have been Jabber with Relish. Um, let me know in the comments below if you actually are a little bit sad that I'm not carrying the mop anymore. If you guys are, I will try to go back and find the mop because I think we actually have... Uh, yeah, we actually have a, an open spot for the mop right now. So if you want me to go back in and get the mop, I'll try to find one. Um, but that's going to be it for me. Uh, I have been Jabber with Relish. As you guys already know. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.